Hi guys, and thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to go over the knockout text, and you see these a lot in signs that you give as gifts for weddings or anniversaries, and you may think that you'd want to use the knockout tool that's in shortcuts a lot, but you'd kind of want to do something a little bit differently, and today I wanted to show you how to do that. So the first thing that I need to do is create my last name. So if I click my text tool over here and then I click on my mat, I'm able to go ahead and start my text. So I'm going to use all caps here and I'm going to type the name of my friend here. And now I'm going to come up over to the top left and I'm going to use the selection tool. And when I see the double arrows down there on the right hand box, I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to drag this out pretty big so that you guys can see it. All right, might go a little bit smaller like so. Now at this point, with the text selected, you can go ahead and use your tracking over here and you're going to move your tracking to, you want the letters to be pretty close together, not too far, not touching. And for I'm using Arial Bold. And for Arial Bold, it looks like 90% tracking is what I'd like. So this is my first step, and that looks great to me. So the next step is to write the handwriting that will go through the middle. So I'm going to click my text tool again. I'm going to click down here. And now I'm going to change over here on the right hand side. I have my um, my font tool selected, which is are the fonts selected, the text, which is the double A's over here on the very right hand side. And I'm going to use the drop down and I'm going to scroll down to a free font that you'll see a lot of people use for this. It's I Love Glitter. It is a free font free font from Defont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. Defont has a lot of free uh, fonts that you can download. So that's the one I'm using till today. Now, if you don't know what glyphs or how to access them with the program, this one actually tells you how to go ahead and access the glyphs. But if you didn't know, you can go to Window and Library. And if you click the little Fonts tab here, and over here on the right-hand window, it tells you that I have the I Live Glitter selected. You can go down and just go ahead and click on these glyphs, and they'll be entered onto your canvas. So if you didn't know the shortcuts, then you could definitely go over here and access them very easily. But I know the shortcuts, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, for this one, I'm going to use an open bracket, which puts that in. And now I'm going to put my name, Angelina. And now I'm going to do the heart, which is a line. So that makes the heart. And then her boyfriend's name, Tony. Now, as you can see, let me zoom this a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and change to my selection tool, which is the arrow. And I'm going to highlight this to get it selected. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it. Now, as you can see, I have my text overlapping, which is not what I want right now. But if I look over here at the tracking and I see the tracking is at 90% still from when I used the last name, I'm just going to bump that back up to 100%. That looks great to me. So let's go ahead and move that into place. And obviously, I'm going to have to uh, shrink this a little bit. So move your arrow or your cursor over here to the one of the corners. You get a double arrow. Shift. I can go ahead and scale that down a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. That's fine. Perfect. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I only have the Angelina and Tony selected. So I'm going to go over here to my layers panel and I'm going to actually click that over here on the bottom right hand side. Now I'm going to go up here to effects and shadow. And I want to make sure I use blackout shadow because that's going to fill in all the little spaces that I want in between the letters. And I want to change the shadow type to rounded, shadow rounded, because that'll look a little bit nicer. 
And just by default, I already know that I want 0.1. So I'm going to go ahead and just change that to 0.1. Delete that little in there. So I have it as 0.1. And I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that there's a little bit of a shadow that was created behind my Angelina Hart Tony. So I'm going to go down to my layers panel and where it says Angelina, which is the one that's still highlighted, I am going to temporarily lock that and there's, you see the eyeball. And then right next to that is a little bit, it's a little dot. If I click that, that layer is locked and that's what I'd like right now. So what I'm going to do now is select everything so that those two are selected. And if I look over my layout panel, you see that the Cortezi is bl highlighted blue, but I don't have my sh shadow layer highlighted. So it didn't select that. So if I hold my shift key, I can go ahead and just click on that. And now I know that these two layers are selected and that's what I want. So now I'm gonna go up to path or actually path. And I'm gonna do front minus back. And that's going to take that shadow that we created and delete that from the last name. So that's exactly what we wanted. I can go ahead and unlock the name now. And now pretty much doing what I did before, I wanna click on Angelina. I'm still over in my layers panel and I click that and I wanna click the, the one below that so that everything is highlighted. And now I wanna go to path union so that it's all one text. So that's all one shape now. And there you go. So if you were to cut this out on your cutter, it would just go ahead and cut all this. You would just cut it in one felt swoop. If you did want to, to cut this in different colors, you definitely could. I would just, let me undo this. So before you saved it, I would go ahead and move this down and then you can go ahead and change the color to let's say blue. And then I would do the same thing, but I would do separate. I would do path union, and then I would highlight this one. And if it doesn't highlight, you can click on it or you can just go ahead and click on it over here in the panel, like so. Make sure that it, the box is highlighted and go to path union to make sure that everything is one shape. And so if you were to send this to your cutter now, it would cut this out and then you could definitely cut this out separately so that when you layered it, if you were using vinyl, this would be probably a vinyl project. You could go ahead and match that back up just like so. All right, super easy, super quick. And if you put this, mounted this on any type of board or display board or something like that, you would really get a lot of kudos for a gift like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, see you later. <laughs>